Hey guys, welcome to the weekend reading. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through all signs, so Aries all the way to Pisces. Uh, Timestamps will be down below. Um, we're going to see just kind of what comes out in the cards for you. Just a short little message for you guys for the weekend. Um, take what resonates, obviously leave the rest. You guys can check out your sun, your moon, your rising sign. Timestamps will be available after the premiere, so they don't work during the premiere, so keep that in mind. Um, we have the full moon happening Friday. So this is the weekend reading for March 18th, 19th, and 20th, if I did not already say that. Um, but we, yeah, we have a full moon. So we'll kind of be in full moon energy most of the weekend. So it can be a little bit heavy sometimes, depending on how you deal with full moon energy. I usually can't sleep, so. <laughs> uh, but let's kind of see what's going on for you guys. Um, Mid-March readings are all up now. If you have not checked those out, you can do so. Um, they'll be under the March 2022 um, kind of playlist. Um, and then also, too, I was thinking for next week, I might do like kind of for each individual sign, like um, reading for what to expect over the next three months. Like as we enter spring, we're obviously entering Aries season, which is the first zodiac of the year, technically. So um, of the zodiac year. So I was thinking of doing like a, a three month reading for each individual sign. So if you like that idea, if you're interested in that, um, let me know and we can kind of look at, yeah, whatever comes up over the next like three months, what would be of importance to you. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. <laughs> so let me know if that is something that interests you. Okay. So we are going to start with Aries. So let's see what's going on for you, Aries. What do you need to know for the weekend? Does Aries need to know? We have star seed. What lights you up? This kind of looks like you're um, trying to figure out like, like where, where to next. It's almost like you're envisioning something for yourself. We have the seven of swords, ten of pentacles, and the hanged man. Yeah, it's like you're kind of in this dreamy energy, keeping to yourself maybe. Um, bottom of the deck, we have two of cups. You could be envisioning like a relationship or I just have this girl, like she's just looking out kind of into nothing, you know, like just into the space. So it's almost like figuring out like what, what is it that excites you? Well, I think there's something with 10 of pentacles, maybe even about relationships. Okay. Yeah. We have a higher friend behind that. So it's like, you may be looking for a commitment. Maybe you're wanting things to move to a higher level. Some of you may feel like things aren't moving to a higher level of commitment. I think this is really about figuring out, are you enjoying where you're at? Why is this seven of swords here for Aries this weekend? Why is this seven of swords here? Five of swords. Some of you are seeing work or money in a different way. Like maybe you feel like there's like seven of swords and five of swords, that's not a good combo. You might be seeing a relationship in a different way too. Like if things were once deceptive or you've had t not great experiences with something in the past, it almost feels like you're shifting your perspective. And I feel like you're shifting it to a more abundant perspective with this ten of pentacles and the hanged man. It's almost like you're coming out of a negative space and really starting to think about where do I want to go with things? What do I want to do? more of this hanged man here nine of swords yeah eight of pentacles again it has something to do with like your work or the way that you make money or how you view money or how you view resources or how much energy you put into something but there's kind of this like mental stress i feel like for some of you there could be a little bit of fear that you get into Maybe about if you're trying to create a sense of abundance for yourself, you may be stressing a little bit this weekend about what's next. Where do I go from here? Because I don't really see with the seven of swords and the five of swords, there's no action really being taken here unless you're like detaching yourself. But with this hanged man, it's like you're in this Piscean energy, which there's a lot of Pisces energy, even though we're switching into Aries season, there's a lot of other planets in Pisces right now. So there's very much this kind of, escapism type energy that's going on in the collective so if there is any sort of like fears that come up that make you kind of avoidant I would definitely be cautious of that 
but also take a break if you need to take a break. Like don't allow yourself to get so wrapped up into this because it feels like there's something like you're trying to, yeah, eight of pentacles, ace of pentacles. It's like you're trying to achieve this 10 of pentacles, but it almost feels like maybe you are feeling overwhelmed by it. It's like you feel like it hasn't happened yet. It's not going to happen. There's a little bit of a fear-based thinking going on here. So I feel like switching that, I think you're going to kind of maybe come out of it. It just feels like you're kind of hung up on it this weekend for some reason. There's something that's not lighting you up and you want it to light you up or you want something to light you up. And it's like you're not, it feels like the Ten of Pentacles is the goal rather than something you've already achieved. And so there's a little bit of fear and stress and worry about that this weekend. So don't allow that to get wrapped up into it. Try to like release that Ne those negative thoughts that could be kind of coming up for you also happy birthday to any of you hopefully you're not experiencing that on your birthday but it's like if you're just feeling negatively about things try not to get so wrapped up in it because a, a lot of our fears can definitely be coming up right now okay so that's what i have for you aries let's move on to taurus going on for Taurus this weekend we have the ever unfolding rose cracked open it's happening for you not to you so this is kind of reminding me of like the tower card um, but it basically what it's saying is like these changes or whatever's going on right now for you Taurus is happening for a reason and it's not happening to affect you negatively it's happening so that you can open up to new things yeah page of pentacles page of pentacles ten of pentacles page of wands there's new doorways and new pathways opening up to you if you're willing to explore them okay i feel like you may have gone through a challenging time we have the four of wands you may have gone through a challenging time because or maybe something ended or something maybe felt like it fell apart but it's so that these new things can blossom some of you may have children. You could be busy at home with your children this weekend. Um, but again, you're overcoming this challenging space. Uh, five of Swords, Six of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Okay. This may have to do with a relationship. Clarify this Page of Pentacles for Taurus. With the High Priestess. This is Page of Wands. The star and the two of pentacles. Some of you have a choice between two different pathways. And it's about which one you're you're going to invest in. Which, which path do you want to invest in? Now, if you don't have two things, it's that you have one thing with this page of pentacles. It's almost like maybe you're being offered something. And then the page of wands is more you taking action on it. But it's really about, because I feel like you have a choice here about what do you want for your future? What do you want moving forward with the star here? It's like you have a you have a, a chance or an opportunity to kind of fix a situation or move towards this Ten of Pentacles here um, in order to, yeah, King of Wands, like level up your life in some way if you want to. I feel like some of you might not necessarily see this coming or you may feel with the High Priestess and the Page of Pentacles you don't know enough about this. You may need more information or you may need to explore this opportunity in order to be able to make a decision to see if it's right for you. Okay, but I do feel like it's something that can provide you a sense of a foundation or stability or it's going to make you feel more stable, more confident even within just yourself. So something I feel like in the past had to end in order for this to open up for you. Whatever this is for you. Could be a person for some of you if you're looking for a relationship but it's really about whether it's the the reading here is more about like this choice that you have of whether this is something you want to invest your energy into so that choice is still always up to you however you it's like the opportunity is there what do you want to do with it so i feel like there's something really good there though with the high priestess and the star those are both very positive energies for you so it's like there's something opening up. This rose is blooming almost. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully that made sense. Uh, let's see what is going on for Gemini. 
What does Gemini need to know for this weekend? Gemini. We have play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. And look at that. We even have the page of cups here at the bottom. So yeah, it's a weekend to enjoy yourself. Some of you may be going out. So you could be literally celebrating something. Some of you are going to go out for drinks or go out and socialize. Um, there's literally like a drink, like a martini glass or whatever on the front here. Seven of cups, eight of swords. Yeah, five of cups or the ten of cups here at the bottom. This is about like getting out of your head and just like not being so wrapped up in your emotions. I feel like a lot of you need to go out and do something fun for yourself, even if that's not going out and having drinks, okay? But just going out and having fun or doing something that you enjoy to do. That could be a craft. It could be some sort of hobby or project. It feels like you could be feeling very overwhelmed, um, especially emotionally. And it's like you need to get your happiness back. It feels like you've maybe lost that due to some sort of a heartbreak here or some sort of disappointment. Um, it's like you're just not really feeling yourself. What's this Eight of Swords here? Or Gemini. Yeah, Queen of Swords. It's like you got to get your mind right. Death card. There's something that has ended that I feel like is stressing you out. Some of you could have lost a form of stability or something you were working on. It's like you had to walk away from something or a relationship you had to walk away from, tried to make it work. It's like it wasn't working. Is five of cups ace of wands yeah three of cups again some of you could be going out and socializing yeah six of wands three of cups six of wands is like other people seeing you recognizing you getting attention having fun celebratory success type energy so i feel like you like going out and socializing is going to help you get through kind of some of this energy and just like take you out of a funk it's kind of what it feels like it's going to give you like a sense of spark back and it may even bring back a sense of creativity for you. Like it may bring back a little bit of that childlike energy um, because I just feel like you're kind of in the, the down in the dumps. Yeah. Seven of cups with the 10 of wands. It's like you're being weighed down because you keep analyzing something. You keep trying to figure out the answers to something. So it's like you got to take a break. This could be something you're working on too that you just feel very depleted by. But I do feel like it's... it. It's maybe not going the way that you want it to go, which is also stressful. Okay. So take that how it resonates. Yeah, Ace of Cups. It's like you've got to do something fun, creative. Even, even if it's just by yourself, like you just have to fill your own cup up again. Take a break. So do something fun for yourself this weekend, Gemini celebrate something if someone invites you out i feel like going would be would be a good idea just to do something different to just kind of like get yourself out there a little bit more and not that you have to like meet people and all that kind of stuff this is more about like just getting your energy back ace of cups ace of wands getting your energy back feeling more like yourself because this isn't really feels like you're kind of you feel like out of your element not in your normal energy okay so that's, that's what I have for you, Gemini. We are going to move on here. Let's move on to Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, what's going on for you guys this weekend? What does Cancer need to know? We have Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? So this always reminds me of like nurturing, like kind of Queen of Pentacles type energy, but really about like if you could give yourself a hug. That's what this card reminds me of. So some of you could be feeling a little emotional <laughs> maybe this weekend. But we do have the full moon, so it wouldn't be surprising. Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords, King of Pentacles. I said the Queen, and we have Justice. This feels like righting a wrong is what I want to say. We have the world. It feels like something's ending, but it's ha it's ending because it's, it's something that's meant to end. Um... You definitely could be dealing with an earth sign, being that I said queen of pentacles, or maybe you have earth in your chart somewhere. What's this king of pentacles here? Yeah, six of pentacles. Some of you, something had to end so you could get something else back in order or back in balance. We do have the page of cups. What's justice? 
Eight of Wands. Someone may also may want to make things right with you, okay? So if you've already had something that has ended or maybe you had a fight of some sort or some sort of argument here, um, it feels as though there could be someone who wants to kind of offer an apology or, you know, just make things more balanced. You could receive a, definitely a message here. Yeah, the Fool, the World, and the Tower. Some sort of big shift here. You're, you're kind of coming out of something big into something new. I don't really know if you know where what is next, but there has been a big, big ending of some sort in your life or some sort of big tower moment here that's kind of pushed you in this new direction. I actually feel like it's pushing you in a better direction. So I feel like this weekend, it's all about nurturing yourself and kind of healing yourself and doing what needs to be done in order for you to kind of work through this Ten of Swords energy so that you can feel... Um, you can feel better and you can move forward in a positive way. Eight of Wands with Justice is good energy because it feels like, again, there's positive movement forward. This is Sagittarian energy, but it's also working in your favor. It's balanced. It's it's just, you know what I mean? So there is a sense of you feeling more stable or becoming more stable, especially if this has already happened, this tower moment already happened, this like Ten of Swords moment happened. I feel like because you've been looking after yourself or because you will be looking after yourself, it's like that's what's really going to help you come out of this, come out the other side. Okay, because I, I feel like you're ready to kind of step into this new energy with the fool here. It's like something maybe, maybe already came crumbling down, something already changed for you. And now it's like because you've been looking after yourself, you're, you're ready and able to step into this new energy. So I like it because I feel like there's there's growth here is what it feels like. There's there's stability, there's balance. There could also be a person who helps you move through this energy. This could be this King of Pentacles, like somebody who's assisting you or helping you somehow. They could even be helping you financially, especially if some of you are going through like some sort of a divorce or a move, something legal. Okay, but I feel like this is actually putting you in a better space because Ten of Swords is something that, you know, typically wasn't fun to be in to begin with. So what I have for you cancer hopefully that resonates we are gonna move on all right Let's see what's going on here for Leo this weekend what does Leo need to know Ooh, we have the high priestess Ooh, we have Pallades. Double, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. We have the High Priestess, we have the Seven of Wands, and we have the Page Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have Strength. So you're coming in hot here, Leo, in your own energy. Um, I feel like you maybe have something to offer. Like some of you may have a mission of some sort is what I'm getting with the High Priestess and the Pallades energy. Like... You're here to do something, do, do something specific. Like you might have some sort of like, whether it's a spiritual business or not, it's like you have an area of your life that you maybe want to dive into a little bit more. There may also be somebody who reaches out to you this weekend. Page of Cups with the Seven of Wands. I don't know how open you are to this, but you may get an offer. You may reject it. Um, this is also what I'm getting for some of you. If it's not a love offer, it's like someone may offer or ask you to go out or to go do something and you say no because you want to stay by yourself you want to stay in and you want to stay home <laughs> it's kind of what I'm getting like it could even be a friend it could be a friend it could be a family member it could be like somebody who's like hey we should go grab a coffee or go grab like whatever and you're like no actually I'm just gonna you might even just say you're busy but I think you might stay home alone with the high priestess here clarify this page of cups for Leo this weekend yeah page of wands Five of Pentacles. Definitely could be somebody who you haven't talked to in a while, maybe you haven't seen in a while, somebody who misses you. Um, again, it could be a friend. What's this Seven of Wands here for Leo? Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords. Yeah, some of you, if this is a person, it's like you're not, you don't trust them or they are a person who just really gets you caught up in your head for some reason. So it's like you don't even want, you don't want them to disturb your peace is almost what I'm getting with that High Priestess. One more here for that. Yeah, Knight of Wands. 
six of wands. This person definitely probably comes off with like, if it is a love interest, yeah, six of wands again. It could be a Virgo. Um, if it is a love offer, it's like you don't, the way this person coming in is very immature. Like you're the high priestess here, Leo. And this person's coming in, it's two pages and the knight of wands. <laughs> so uh, let's see what this high priestess is for you. Two of pentacles. Yeah, you're just like making changes in your life. Two of wands. You're trying to, I feel like you're trying to do something. Like you could be trying to complete something and work on something. We do have the nine of pentacles. Like it's like you're just trying to pro progress your own life somehow. And I mean, even if you're just taking a break, it's because probably you're busy. You've got a lot of things going on. Um, I just feel like you are focused on something specific with this double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. It's like you have something to contribute to the world somehow or the collective somehow. And you don't want to be disturbed by this lower energy here. Yeah, it just keeps you confused. It distracts you. Yeah, Seven of Cups, Five of Swords, King of Wands, Two of Cups. It does feel like it's some sort of connection. Yeah, I just feel like this person kind of, they do, they do see you as somebody they want to connect with. Some of you might have two people. Oh, uh... Fire sign, definitely, and then um, possibly an air or earth, or sorry, an air or water sign. I just feel like there's someone here who maybe sees you as commitment, but there's somebody else who keeps you confused. Yeah, there's a lot of like deceptive kind of like weird energy here. So I just feel like you're trying to wait and you're not engaging in this type of energy. If there's somebody who reaches out to you, it's like you're just kind of like, meh. I'm just going to keep to myself, mind my own business. <laughs> so... I just see you resting for some of you, but also if you have goals or things that you're trying to accomplish or achieve, I see you kind of focused on that. Um, not really wanting to engage romantically. Some of you, again, it's like a friendship. Okay. So I kind of see you with the high priestess just staying home alone. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Hopefully that resonates. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. What is going on for Virgo this weekend? What does Virgo need to know? We have the initiation, um, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Ace of Wands, High Priestess, Queen of Wands. The sun, I was just about to say some of you have Leo in your chart. Um, there's something really positive about to come in here for you, Virgo. It could be after this full moon that's in your sign. So it almost feels like this full moon is like pushing you into new energy. It's like you're closing out a chapter and stepping into new. It's like you're stepping through this portal. Feels like some of you are coming out of a dark place into a really bright one the sun and the ace of wands, you could find that your inspiration and your kind of zest for life kind of increases. Um, and I also feel for some of you, like something might be illuminated, something that was once hidden from you or something that was once, because honestly with this high priestess energy, I'm getting a lot of like the moon energy. So with the full moon, it's like something's revealed or something, again, we have a lot of Leo energy here for some reason. So you may have Leo in your chart, um, the sun, the four of wands and the strength card. So something very positive is happening here for you. I feel like a, like a push in the right direction almost. So it's still up to you of whether you're going to take this with this ace of wands. However, with the queen of wands, I feel like this is like you're feeling very confident. Some of you, this is an opportunity or a situation that you've manifested with the queen of wands and the high priestess here. What is this ace of wands here for Virgo? Yeah, literally, magician. <laughs> You've manifested this. Nine of Pentacles. This is something that you want. Something you've communicated. Justice. Some of you could be a new contract, new partnership of some sort. It doesn't have to be love partnership. It could be like a work partnership or a creative collaboration. Six of Wands. It's like you get noticed. Um, Six of Wands and the Hermit energy. It's like you get noticed. So, or you notice something, there's like either you see something or someone sees you. 
What says Queen of Wands here? But I feel like this weekend you're seeing it for the first time is almost what I'm getting. Yeah, Queen of Wands with the Empress and the, or the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Big changes, big abundance, big growth. Stability. It's like the right time for you to find whatever this is. The right time, definitely. So there's something here. I think I had a similar reading in your... I can't remember if it was yours or not. I feel like your, your mid-March was a similar energy. But there's something you're stepping into. And I feel like it might be revealed to you. At least the idea of it might be revealed to you this weekend. Or after this full moon energy kind of starts to like settle. And it, it, you've manifested this opportunity. So you, it's up to you to take it. But it does feel like it provides you a lot of positive energy. I think it's going to stand out to you. This isn't something you're going to have to go like searching for. Okay. So that's what I got for you, Virgo. All right, let's move on here to Libra. Let's see what's going on for you, Libra. What does Libra need to know for the weekend? You've been having some interesting energy, Libra, in your readings. We have Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty, Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, and Teacher. So... This is an interesting energy because it's, it's like High Priestess, the Empress, and the Hierophant like all in one. It's more feminine, but um, technically the Hierophant being Taurus energy is feminine energy. Um, we have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. So you're in your head about something that you are starting or learning about. Some of you could be teaching something or thinking about teaching something. And maybe that's why you're stressed because you have to like put yourself out there. You could have to put your offer out there. You may have to put your idea out there. Um, and even the thought of teaching people, I feel like might throw you off. This is Page of Pentacles here for Libra. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like it's almost something that like puts you in the spotlight. Some of you I'm getting to, there could also be stress around a child or stressing about children or family. What's this Ten of Pentacles here? Magician. Yeah, Nine of Wands. Some of you are stressed about offering or moving forward in something. Like, I don't know if you're, I think you're, you're offering something, you're giving something is what it feels like. But you're stressed about it um, because it feels like you're, you're really heavily trying to manifest this Ten of Pentacles, but it's almost like you're burnt out, you're depleted, you're feeling exhausted. But I think, I think it's the stress that's doing that to you. What's this Eight of Swords here for Libra? strength card yeah you need to like learn how to control the mind or um temper the mind a little bit not get too in your head because it's like your fears and everything are what's you know holding you back for pentacles four of wands it does feel like there's a sense of stability and foundation that you're looking for that you may feel like you don't have because even the page of pentacles it's newer energy right so it can feel unstable it's very new it's not it's not fully grounded. So again, I feel like this Page of Pentacles is something that you are having to, yeah, we have the Emperor in the verse, like not feeling secure, not feeling stable. So this could have something to do financially, like you could be stressed about your finances. Maybe you want to do something new, but you're stressing because you're just like, I don't know if it's going to make me money or maybe you have to leave something or to, in order to start this, it's like it just kind of puts you in this... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? It puts you in a very unpredictable energy or unstable energy or where you could feel very vulnerable. So for example, it's like you're quitting your job to go start your own business and you're like, well, I hope I make money. <laughs> 
it's like that kind of thing where you just like you go from a stable income where it's reliable because it's consistent and you know what it looks like every month to um you know having to to promote yourself and a lot of the work is based on what how you put yourself out there and how many people buy your services or whatever it is that you have to offer okay so there's something that you're stressed about and it feels like regardless there's a stress of about around instability I feel like there's a change that you have to make and that's what's testing the instability. Again, something you, like maybe some of you are moving. I, I am getting children here for some of you. So maybe you just have children and it's because of them that you're a little bit more worried about the stability. Um, I think you'll be okay though. Some of you are moving. I'm getting there's like a counterpart here who I don't think that you're in a relationship with. Like some of you may not be in a relationship with the mother or father of your child. And there's like some, I don't know if there's no communication or there's like a distance or a separation here for some reason. Okay, so I'm not sure what that's about, but it just feels like you're stressed about something feeling unstable. You're really trying to manifest the stability. And honestly, I think as long as you stay tapped into your powerful energy with the magician energy there, I think you'll be okay. It's just having to trust yourself a little bit more, right? Beauty and devotion. As long as you see the good things and you stay tapped in, you'll be able to create the life that you're looking for as long as you're devoted to it, right? You see the, the beauty in it. All right, interesting reading, Libra. Yours have been interesting recently. Let's see what's going on here for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know for the weekend? Let's see. Ooh, we have take a break. Life's work, a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. Okay, so some of you need to take a break. <laughs> Some of you have just been like doing too much. I think I actually got this in your mid month as well. Was I getting that? Taking a break, not having to do it all, all the time. Yeah, 10 of pentacles, nine of pentacles, the fool. Yeah, take a break, <laughs> go do something fun. Um, I've been getting this for a while here, Scorpio. Like whoever I'm reading for is um, very focused on their material sense, their successes in life, okay? very much going after goals, dreams, pursuing goals and dreams. Um, some of you might be finally completing something and then you feel free, you actually get it done. So I don't know if this is like a work project, maybe something school related, home related. This is 10 of pentacles here. But it's something you're trying to complete here. Clarify the 10 of pentacles for Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles here. Wheel of Fortune, Page of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands. Yeah, it almost feels like you've you've kind of like progressed something or changed something from the Page of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. It's like all your hard work is paying off is almost what it feels like. Or you're still trying to do it. Some of you are still in on the treadmill. <laughs> yeah, Five of Swords with the Tower here with this Nine of Pentacles. So it's like... I feel like some of you are spending a lot of time fixated or you have been up until this point fixated on um, what you're trying to accomplish, which is great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that except for when there's an imbalance and it's affecting our relationships. And this, these don't have to be romantic. These could just be our connections that we have in our lives. Um, so some of you, there may be because you've been so focused on something, it's like maybe there's some sort of a relationship that's taken a back burner that hasn't really worked in your favor. What's this fool energy? Or you may be starting to put more energy into, maybe you're ready for love. Um, we have the fool with the five of cups. So I feel like there's maybe like some sort of regret around that. Let's see. There could be some sort of conflict that comes up this weekend around a relationship because you've been, sorry about that, 
sounds like somebody tried to run something over, <laughs> meaning one of my dogs tried to run something over. Um, it may feel like someone expresses the fact that they are, like, I don't know if you're dealing with someone or there's just, again, a person in your life that maybe feels like you haven't been putting a lot of effort into the connection or into the friendship or whatever this is. And I think it's encouraging you to fix that situation, to just spend time or, you know, do things a little differently with the fool energy, do something fun, go out and explore something with this person. Some of you, it is relationships, okay? Or if it's just, if it's not a specific person, it could just be you feeling like I need to put more time and energy into my connections and the people, or maybe I'm ready for a relationship. Or if I want a relationship, I need to make space for it. This is kind of what this feels like. Give me one more here, this Nine of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Yeah, six of pentacles. It's like how how you give your time and your energy to people. Some of you have been very detached emotionally from relationships and not focusing on them. And maybe they just haven't been as important, which is totally fine. But this is either you realizing you want to put more energy into relationships or you need to have more fun or more social interaction in your life and not be so fixated on the career aspect. Um or it's someone actually communicating this to you about how they feel of how you've been acting. So it's one of the two things. It can e very easily just be your own energy of being like, man, I haven't spent time with my friends in like forever, right? So there could be a little bit of wanting to try and, try and find more balance um, in your work life and your relationships kind of like moving forward. So you could just be, I feel like there could be someone who maybe like says something to you or you have a conversation about this with someone. But I do see some of you are completing whatever you've been working on, and that could maybe be what kickstarts this. Okay, so interesting. That's what I have for you, Scorpio. Let's move on here. Let's move on to Sag. Let's see what Sagittarius needs to know. What does Sag need to know for the weekend? What is going on for Sag? We have Pillar of Light. Your vibration is rising. You are the Oracle. Okay, so there's kind of this like energy of ascending, of like moving to a higher level, feeling very good as well. We have the Two of Swords, yeah, High Priestess. Seven of Wands, Queen of Cups. So your like, vibration is definitely raising. You're very intuitive, you're very connected at this time. Um, I kind of feel like you're really trying to protect your energy. It's interesting, we have the Two of Swords and the Seven of Wands on the either side of the High Priestess. It's almost like you're like, nobody distract me. <laughs> I am the gift, <laughs> but it's like, you're just not wanting people to disturb your peace. You're not wanting people to get in your energy. You're trying to like put, it's like you're putting yourself in a bubble is almost what I'm getting. So this may be a weekend where you definitely are wanting to just connect with yourself, connect with spirit, and you're not wanting to like be disturbed in one way or another. What's this two of swords here? You're like, don't talk to me, talk to the hand. Yeah, the fool, two of wands, some of you are, um, if there's something specific in your life, I feel like you could be wanting to go in a new direction. Okay, K uh, king of swords. I also feel too, if you have a decision to make about a direction, it's like, you're very much in your own head about this. You're not really wanting other people's opinions. What's this seven of wands here? Like you're really trying to tap into your own intuition. What's this seven of wands here? Page of Swords and the Devil. Yeah, it's like you don't want other people's opinion. I almost feel like there's a word, I can't think of like what the word is that I'm, I'm getting an energy off of this that it's like you're not wanting other people's opinion because it's like based on their experience it's not factual or their belief you know what i mean like it's not sorry about my dog um but it's almost like you're not with this devil energy it's like you don't want their opinion because you don't think it's any good or something like that you don't believe in it you don't think it's any good you're like no you don't understand um i also feel like you could have people who are 
maybe no good for you around you that you're trying to protect your energy from these people because you know that they're no good they're toxic they're karmic right there's karma with these people that you're just like you may also have like people watching you that are just need to stay over there what's the high priestess energy seven of pentacles ace of cups yeah you're just investing into self focusing on you emperor there's a person around you i feel like if you're trying to manifest love definitely it's, it's coming in i feel like it's coming in though because you're raising your vibration so if you are a single sag or um this could even be your, your connections moving to a higher level of commitment um, also very stable connections as well. Like you're going to attract people that are on the same frequency as you. So that's why I feel like this energy is you're like, yeah, you can just stay over there. I don't, I don't need, we don't need to be on the same page here. Right. You're just kind of like keeping people at bay and definitely moving in a different direction. Some of you maybe have groups of people that you're just no longer hanging around or just people in general in your life that you're no, whether they're family or not, it's like you're, you're on a whole nother level here. Some of you have really tapped into spirituality and that's maybe changed things because you just see things differently than these people. Okay. The way you view life and the way they view life is just not the same. Okay. So this weekend though, I just see you really protecting your energy, staying to yourself. Some of you may even do some like full moon rituals or something like that. Okay. So that's what I got for you, Sag. Hopefully that resonates. Uh, let's move on let's see what's going on for capricorn let's see let's see what does capricorn need to know for the weekend what does capricorn need to know for the weekend capricorn okay we have get grounded empaths highly sensitives connect with nature so getting outside might be really good for you this weekend capricorn Let's see, especially if you're feeling really emotional, or you're really affected emotionally or just like energetically, if you're just not feeling 100%, it's like definitely getting grounded may be beneficial for you. You have the Justice, Queen of Pentacles, which is your energy, Queen of Wands. Something could also, um, we have the Sun energy here at the bottom of the deck. So you could be dealing with the Leo. Again, some of you may have Leo in your chart. I always get this for you guys. There's kind of this bright idea that you have. Um, it's like you're wanting to take action on something new. Okay, so you may be working on something financial, starting a new contract. Some of you also could be like, I'm seeing you connect with someone here with the Justice, Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands, like connecting with someone here. Clarify Justice, maybe getting on the same page. Seven of Wands. Ten of Wands. You're you're putting energy into something that you believe in or something that you think is right. I don't know what that means. Ten, nine of Wands is something. I feel like it's something you're working on, like a project or something that you want to complete. We do have the Moon. So again, I feel like if this full Moon is affecting you, I do feel like you're closing something out. Like there's something to release with this full Moon. Um, the World, the Four of Swords. There's something to release. And that's where I feel like connecting back to nature will help you kind of ground your energy if this full moon energy is like throwing you off this weekend. What's this queen of wands? Judgment. What's this about? Ace of swords. Yeah, you're getting like a... So maybe you're going to get a brand new idea. Or there's like a lot of clarity moving you forward. They're like that's going to create some sort of big change for you. I... Yeah... If you're working on anything, Capricorn, definitely make sure that your energy is grounded because I feel like the more you can ground your energy, the more clear you're going to be from a mental perspective. You may have a lot going on and a lot of projects, a lot of responsibilities or a lot of things that you're busy with. And I feel like that could also be what's disrupting your energy. And so definitely needing to, um, you know, kind of in order to keep the, the spark and not get burnt out. Okay. And to maintain this like queen of wands type energy. Cause I kind of feel like this is all you. Um, it's like in order to maintain that you need to, 
keep the peace <laughs> within yourself. And that's when you may have an idea or just motivation or if you already have an idea, it's like you're going to be able to step into it or like engage in it more. There's a sense of an awakening here almost, but it's like an I- from a thought form or an idea. Um, something comes into you like your awareness. So definitely just try to look after yourself and make sure that you're in a good space that way. Um, but that's what I got for you, Capricorn. We are going to move on here. Sorry if you can hear my family. They love to talk very loudly and it seems to some reason echo in this place. So even though we are on totally different floors, but anyway, let's move on to Aquarius and see what's going on between my dogs and my family. <laughs> it's just like, ugh, people like to yell. Okay. Um, Aquarius. Let's see. We have Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. Okay. Justice. I just had that for Capricorn. Nine of Wands and the Lovers. Okay. The Ace of Cups, King of Cups. There's a sense of um, having things come back into maybe balance or maybe having to make some sort of choice. It almost feels like you're being guided though with that energy of the Oracle, but also this Lovers energy. It's like there might be a choice that you're needing to make that you are starting to fully step into now um or like you're headed in some sort of direction it feels like you've been contemplating this choice why the nine of wands here why the nine of wands queen of wands nine of wands for aquarius four of wands Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, Eight of Wands. So this is about the right direction to move forward in. Um, You are going to, I feel, know the direction. It's almost like something starts working out. Maybe you've been putting a lot of effort and energy. It's like it might start to take off into something. Some Some of you could also be putting a lot of work into a home. Let's clarify this Justice card. Five of Wands and the Ace of Wands. There's a lot of fire here. Um, King of Swords. So something's working in your favor. I almost feel with the King of Swords here, Justice, Five of Wands, Ace of Wands. It's like something you've been fighting for or wanting or competing for or feeling like you've had to compete for, I feel is working out for you. It feels like there's like, if you felt kind of defeated or you've been feeling a little bit um, beat down, it's like that kind of changes this weekend. What's this lovers here? The hermit, two of swords. It's almost like instead of trying to maybe figure something out logically, you tap in intuitively and that's, that's where you're gonna find the guidance is when you tap in intuitively. Uh, hermit, two of swords. And the hanged man it's like get out of your head to shift the energy if you're trying to figure out what to do in a situation the guidance is within the information that you need is within and i feel like that's what this oracle is saying but it's also to like what the cards i feel are saying because the lover's card has the angel on it and so i feel like going within is how you're going to tap in especially with this hanged man energy um it's like you're going to kind of get into alignment here and start and be able to shift your energy to be able to see the path forward. So you're being guided in some sort of direction. Again, some of you are doing a lot of work around a house or work around your stability or just like what your passions, what you want to create. You've been struggling with it, but I feel like the creation aspect is going to start to take off here. But it's it'll take off once you can get out of your head. So... Um, Some of you, it's even relationships, like just trying to, if you want to be in a relationship or that sort of thing, it's like maybe you start to see things differently, which helps you actually get into a better and higher level union with the lovers here. Okay. But it's like a need to shift the energy here to go from something challenging into something more positive. And I feel like you're doing that, but you'll do it faster by tapping in. The longer you try to logically figure it out, I feel like that won't necessarily work for you. Like maybe you've been going about it from a logical perspective, but it still doesn't feel something about it the way it feels, especially with all this fire energy. It's like it lacked the passion. It was more burnt out. 
and whatever you're when you tap in intuitively you figure out what lights the passion what lights the fire what excites you and that's the game changing aspect there so hopefully that makes sense <laughs> i feel like it's more about like the feeling of it versus the logical idea of it all so that is what i've got for you aquarius let's move on here let's move on to pisces so you guys can stop listening to my dog bark <laughs> let's see what's going on for pisces here this weekend what is going on for pisces this weekend we have mintakin Longing for home, belonging, the original light worker. Okay, so some of you are trying to just find your space. We have the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles, Justice. Interesting. Six of Swords. It's like you're trying to figure out the direction to move in. You could be moving in from one thing into another. What's this King of Swords energy for Pisces? Some of you have two people here. Yeah, judgment. There is a decision. What's this King of Pentacles? It's almost like what you're trying to make a decision on what feels comfortable. Hanged man. Give me one more. This King of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. What's this Justice card here? Five of Swords. Okay, so you're trying to improve something. Something's not feeling 100% for you. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. But I also feel like there's a lack of clarity or you're needing to use your intuition because your mind's just playing tricks on you here. Um, I feel like you're trying to, you're looking for stability. You're looking for your home, your comfort with this King of Pentacles here. You're looking for something that feels stable. It feels nurturing. It feels like, it just feels um, grounding for you. It almost feels like you're very either in your head or in this like ethereal space. And it's like, you're trying to ground yourself because there's something here that's keeping you up here. And so some of you grounding techniques will be really good for you this weekend. It's like you're trying to make the right decision, but you get your mind keeps getting swayed from like a logic and like a clear being clear and your intuition and tapping into that. But then it gets pulled into like this illusion or this deception. So it feels like you are with judgment and justice. It does feel like there's a, a decision or you're trying to move in a certain direction. It feels like you know the direction, King of Swords, Judgment. But then with the Hanged Man, Seven of Swords, it's like then for some reason you shift the energy and then you get into more of a negative state. So it's like you start second guessing yourself is almost what I'm getting. So there's a need for you to trust your intuition. And I feel like being practical in the sense of like, Again, you know what you want to do. I don't think it's unclear to you. I think it's more that you're allowing yourself to get in your own way or get in your own head. It's like self-doubt, self-sabotage. Um, Because even this hanged man, like that's your energy. So it's it's you, I feel, who's deceiving yourself. Okay. Um, and I feel like the way to get around this from an advice perspective is to do grounding techniques, go outside, get some fresh air, um, anything that helps kind of bring you back down into this reality. There's something about the reality aspect. And it's interesting too, because this full moon is in Virgo, which is your opposite sign, which would help do that, would help ground you. So the moon in Virgo actually kind of helps you. So utilize that to, um, to kind of bring this like thought form, again, this idea, this dream, or this space that you wanna go where you feel you belong. It's like to, to create this sense of stability, our home usually, when we feel like we belong, it feels stable, it feels secure. So there's a sense of bringing yourself into the stable, secure place um, on a physical level so that you can manifest that into the reality as well. So kind of an interesting message. But again, it's like you do know the change. You know the change that you want to create. High Priestess, Page of Pentacles, uh, Wheel of Fortune. I think it's just a matter of grounding yourself so that you can actually make the decision without getting in your own way and then make it a tangible thing. It's like you're it's almost like you're getting in the way of making it a tangible thing. 
because you're you're up here with it all. So it's time to kind of, some of you really need to work on like your lower chakras to kind of just balance that energy out when it gets too much. It's not that you can't be up here, but when it gets too um, out of control or we're trying, we're just, we're not, we don't have a balanced aspect of it or it's becoming unbalanced, that's when we have to do some grounding techniques to kind of keep us in the, those lower energies. So that is what I have for you, Pisces. Um, hopefully you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing. Um, I will be posting a pick a card this weekend. And then, yeah, let me know if you want me to do the um, three month kind of energies for each individual sign. I haven't done that before, so I think that'd be kind of fun. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on the next one. Bye.